It was sentencing day for the teenager charged with extorting Florida Senator Lauren Book, but before learning his fate, he got an earful from the politician herself. Let's go to local 10 and Margo live now with the courthouse in Fort Lauderdale with more. Ian. Jeremy Camperveen will spend about a year in prison and then 10 more years on probation, and he took this afternoon as a chance to apologize to the senator and her husband. I know you don't want to hear my voice, but I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry for, for what I did to you guys. In court on Tuesday, 20-year-old Jeremy Camperveen was sentenced after admitting to extorting Florida State Senator Lauren Book. For the rest of my life, for the rest of my husband's life, for the rest of our children's lives, we will have to suffer with this, to answer questions about this, to deal with the aftermath of this. Because you, Jeremy Camper V, wanted $5,000, more pictures to sell, and oral sex. It started back in November. Camperveen says he was approached by an anonymous person online who sent him nude photographs of Book and her husband stolen from a hacked account. The then 19-year-old demanded payment and sex acts from the state Senate's most powerful Democrat in exchange for not releasing those photos. Just days later, though, he was arrested by law enforcement agents at a Starbucks where he was expecting to meet Book for payment. Was this political in any way? Uh, it was not political, sir. Camperveen cooperated with authorities who are now trying to figure out who it was that gave him those hacked photos, and he pled at no contest to the cyber stalking and extortion charges against him. I'm going to sentence you to a year and a day Florida State Prison with credit for three days' time served. That'll be followed by 10 years of probation. We're pleased with the sentence. Obviously, this is something that we're going to have to live with, our family's going to have to live with for the rest of our lives. Um, but hopefully, um, you know, this puts Mr. Camperveen on a different path. So Camperveen was taken into custody immediately after that hearing. We watched him mouth to his parents that he loved them before he was put into handcuffs. Live in Fort Lauderdale, me and Margo, Local 10 News.